Hello all, welcome to eDrawMax. In this video we will learn about fault tree analyses. A fault tree is useful for allowing team members to identify potential risks by illustrating the relationships between events and the causes that lead to them. This allows you to prioritize resources to fix those issues before they occur. Let's learn how to make a fault tree analysis using eDrawMax. Navigate to File, click on New, and select Management from the categories. Now choose Fault Tree Analysis from the subcategories. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. Click on the Library symbol and add the Basic Drawing Shapes Library under the General category. Drag and drop the shapes required on the drawing pane. Next, select the connector under the Home tab and choose the appropriate connector. Now add the IDEF0 library, which is available under the flowchart category. Drag and drop the required connector. Select Rotate under the Home tab to rotate the connector. Continue to build the diagram as shown. On the right side of the page, you can find options to change the color of the shapes. Right-click and choose Select All Connectors to change the color. Now again, right-click and choose Select All Texts to change the text color. Select Fit to Drawing under the Page Layout tab. To add text, select the Text option under the Home tab. Uncheck Grid Lines under the View tab and click on the From Beginning icon to preview the diagram in a single frame. Now let's see a few examples of fault tree analyses that are available in eDraw Max. Motor Fail Fault Tree, Fault Tree C, Fault Tree Analysis Diagram. Download eDraw Max for free from the link in the description, and you can analyze with a fault tree diagram as well. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more diagram knowledge videos.